Right, this is the uh, Akai GX 4000D main control board. I finally got it to a position where I can work on it. Um, took a little bit of stripping down, quite a few screws and things. But I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of the amount of components we need to change. Now, we're looking really at all the electrolytic capacitors. We're going to change them all on this board. Um, they're quite old now um, and they do generally cause a problem but then there's a transistor replacement that we need to look at which are, are down here and here and there's probably a few more elsewhere I haven't, I haven't located them all but what I will do is I'll give you an overview on the board exactly where the components are and um, what we're looking at doing is changing the original Hitachi part uh, 2SC458 um, for this Fairchild KSC1845. Now, if you go for this uh, model, fortunately the uh, pin designation is the same, um, so there's no bending or swapping of legs or anything or mounting it in a different direction. Um, so, what we'll do is, as I say, I'll give you a quick overview of what the board looks like. Uh, how many capacitors there are, there are. Um, and then I'll give you a list afterwards of the values that you need to buy. This is the complete kit you'll need of replacement parts. These are the parts I've removed from the uh, GX4000D. Um, you need four 100 microfarad 16 volt, one 220 microfarad 25 volt. Uh, these are going across in order. Then you need uh, six 47 microfarad uh, 25 volt, two 47 microfarad 16 volt, four. 0 0.47 microfarad 25 volt then we've got 10 microfarad 25 volt and there's 19 of those then we move on to a 33 microfarad 25 volt it's just one of those then we've got 4.7 microfarads 25 volt and there's seven of those and to follow then there's two 2.2 microfarads 25 volt and the replacement for the 2SC458s, you need 14. So that's your total kit.